Alright, today I'll be introducing you to Microsoft Visual Studio Express 2012 for Windows Desktop. So if you want to make apps for Windows 8, you're going to have to use Express Edition for Windows 8 and not the desktop version. All the Express editions of Visual Studio are free download from Microsoft. So the first step into making an app, you have to start click New Project, and it'll give you different types of app templates that you want to that you could select from, and you can also use different languages. But I'm just going to show you guys with Visual Basic, and we're going to use the Windows Form application, which is the usual one for desktop. And you see here is the designer, which is where you can make how your app looks like what buttons they could use to interact with it. So if you want to add a button to your app, you have to go over to the text box right here. If you want, you could pin it so it always stays there. Or if you want to automatically minimize, go like that. To add a button, you have to double click. Or if you want, you could just drag it out. I prefer to drag it out because you could leave it wherever you want. Because when you double click it, it, auto it just puts it in the corner. Or wherever you last put your button. So over here is the properties where you could change how it looks and how it behaves. Like pretend we don't want it to say button two. We can make it say hi. And there we go. And you can also change the color, which should be up here. Click it and you can sell it from different types. Let's try green. There we go. But if you want to get to the coding part, you're going to have to go view and code. And then this is where actually all the coding happens. And then in programming, there are things called event handlers, which is code that executes whenever a certain event happens. So my, the Visual Studio automatically generates these things for you. And you could look for them right here. And if I want the mouse click, you just double click it and it'll automatically make it for you. Or if you want, you could do it from up here, find whichever control you want, and then you select the one that you want. Pretend we want enter. There we go. So if you want to debug your application, make sure everything is working fine. Click up here, start, or you could just press F5 on your keyboard, and it'll automatically make the app for you. See our buttons. <laughs> Yay, we made our first app. Okay, so. If you want to make the installer package so people could actually install your app onto their computers, we have to go up to build and publish. And then right here, it'll go through the process of making the installer package with you. And there we go. And then it'll put it into your projects folder, like in your documents. So if we go to documents, we'll go to Visual Studio, Go to projects, look for the name of it, and then click in here, and it should be under the publish, as you can see here. And then if you click on it, it will go through the installer package. Right, so that's basically it, and thanks for watching.